Written in these walls are the stories that I can't explain I leave my heart open but it stays right here empty for days She told me in the morning she don't feel the same about us in her bones Seems to me that when I die, these words will be written on my stone And I'll be gone, gone tonight The ground beneath my feet is open wide The way that I've been holding on too tight With nothing in between The story of my life, I take her home I drive all night Stays right here in its cage I know that in the morning now I See a single light upon the hill Although I am broken My heart is untamed still And I'll be gone, gone tonight Fire beneath my feet is burning bright I've been holding on so tight With nothing in between The story of my life I'll take her home I'll drive all night
cry today, they saw me cry for the first time. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for loving me. I love you to all. And thank you for the birthday gifts that I've received. May God bless you all. Appreciate Thank you, my and daddy. Appreciate <laughs> and so all of you, but they pray for you, your friends, everyone. So I'm blessed to have them and I pray for them. Amen. Uh, you can take your seat. <laughs> Uh, praise God. Praise, praise God. Praise Him. You wave. Praise God. Praise Him. I love that. Uh, I want to thank God for today, for our dear guest, Priti, Karunji, Kanono, Kanono, Esgome. Priti, she's our our second born, and. Uh, she has today made 18 years. So you clap for her. Today it is a special birthday in her life that she has left the childhood to the teenagerhood now. Yes, she's no longer looked at as a child. You know, teenagers are grown up people. Teenagers are not kids. You see, before 18, you are regarded as a kid and in so doing, you cannot sign any agreement, and it stands. So you can't do anything other than uh, in the church. The church only allows those from 12 and above, those who are, are, can become God parents. But the rest of our, of our Ugandan laws, you must make 18 in order for you to be regarded as an adult. So today, I want to congratulate uh, Pretty that she has become an adult. Now, meaning in the house now, I have people to discuss with. I no longer command now. Because you know when you make 18, they no longer command you. They only discuss with you, right? Uh, I want to thank Pretty that she has been a wonderful girl. You clap for her. Uh, I want to thank Precious as well. Where is Precious? I'm here. Yeah, you come here. You stand beside her and the crystal stand next to her. Yeah, you stand, I said you stand. You stand <laughs> the other side. Uh, there's something surprising in these young uh, children you are seeing here. I really don't have a reason and I have failed to find a reason even to quarrel with them. Can you imagine that? You clap for them. Not any single day do I have, do I find time, do I even find a reason to quarrel with them. So I thank God that I have children who listens and who takes instruction seriously. Clap for them. And I want to thank God that even the schools where they have gone, I've never gone there, nobody has ever called me to go there for any bad report. So that I thank God also for that. Because I was the one managing them, being that they were kids. But now, whatever they do, they are doing it as now, as what? As adults. So I am no longer much liable to stand for pretty and for precious, because they are now regarded as adults. And some of you, so do you. Because as parents, what makes us happy is to see you very happy. For us, what makes us happy is to see you very what? I, I look at the difference. For us to be happy, for you, you must be very what? Not only happy, but very happy. So every parent, when he gives birth, birth to a child, soon you are going to have I, I pray in the name of Jesus that none of you will not have a child in the name of Jesus. Amen. I cover you with the blood of Jesus, that all of you, you will see your own children in the name of Jesus. Amen. And the children that come from God, not children that come from the street, children that are blessed by God, 
in the name of Jesus. I pronounce it on you. Now, receive it in the name of Jesus. Be good children to your parents. Because if you are not good, your parents wouldn't even allow you to be here up to this time. Because we parents, we get scared of you. I'm not only talking to pretty and precious. Because you work with the pretty and precious. And when you are bad people, they end up being what? Are you getting the, are you getting the point? That's why we, we parents, normally we are strict on the friends of our children. I want you to understand it if nobody, if no parent has ever told you that. Why parents we are strict with the friends of our children is that they say, tell me whom you work with, I tell you who? Who you are. It means you have a big influence over them. So we clap for you as the best Gomez. If you are bad children, then you would find them not escaping to be bad children. Because if you are escaping from school, you will say pretty we escape. She will go with you. You understand? So let's let's have good companionship. And the companionship, my children, I'm talking to all of you, my children. The companionship is a companionship that makes you a person of reasonable, uh, reasonable uh, management, reasonable manager, reasonable treasurer, reasonable accountant, reasonable engineer. And the life you live now determines what you are going to be at that time. Amen? Amen. When you misuse your time now, by the time you are to become an engineer, you will already be a waste. And when you are a waste at that age, to go back and reverse, it becomes a big problem. So make sure that you are focused to your future right from now. Because I'm very sure I'm talking to those who are senior four, and, uh, and uh, maybe a few of them you could be down, except my, my humble young boy there. Whom I have loved you today. You come here. You come here, Mama, my son. Mm. 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 So he's the child, I can say, probably with a few of them. <laughs> but uh, what are we trying to put across? Is that, uh, one, I need you to read the Bible. How many of you have Bibles at home? <laughs> now, you can see how dangerous it is. You only have Bibles on the phones. But I want to, I want to tell you this, that I want each of you to have a Bible. And if you cannot have a Bible, if you cannot buy a Bible, you have my number. Text me a message. I will buy you a Bible. Amen? Amen. Just text me a message and say, that precious, I am so and so, my Bible. <laughs> then, me, eh, just demand, demand for it. Me, I am going to buy a Bible for you. And I'm going to have all your numbers. And we are going to form a WhatsApp group. I want us to chat together. <laughs> yes, from today I'm going to be on a group with you as pretty and precious friends because you have to be my friends, okay? If you want to go for a disco, you just tell me and say, Daddy Precious wanted to go and have a dance. Mm -hmm. Then me, I will organize, and I take you, and I make sure that your parents <laughs> is very aware of where we are. Are you with me? Hey, I want us to make sure that our parents are aware that we are having a vibe somewhere. <laughs> I don't want you to just go without your parent knowing that we are going to have a vibe somewhere. My son Rugani will drop each of you at every door of your parent, right? Or at every hostel where you stay, as long as your parent is aware that you are with that who? 
Amen? Amen. What do I wish all of you to be? I wish all of you to be very important persons in the future. Amen. Such that our Uganda becomes a different Uganda. Because a Uganda where precious is good alone is meaningless and is useless. A Uganda where you're pretty alone is rich is useless. A good Uganda is where all of you you are rich. Where all of you you are perfectly right for the future. Amen? Amen. I thank you that I have seen you have boyfriends. Boyfriends. Um, I want you to quote me properly. He's my boyfriend. He's my boy, what? He's my boyfriend. Why do I say you have boyfriends? Uh, in these days, we parents, we get scared when we don't see men in lives of our daughters. We don't mean you misuse our daughters, because when you misuse my daughter, then you are my enemy. You understand? Our duty, our duty as boys, you hear? Yes. The duty of Junior to these girls is to protect them. And so do you. You understand? Are you getting me, my boys? You should be protective to these girls because they are your friends, right? To make sure that you guide them and tell them and say, look here, don't move with boys. We boys are ABCD. Guide them. They need to hear from you how we men lie. These <laughs> girls don't know that we lie. <laughs> yes, you girls, you don't know that for us men, we say we love you when <laughs> it is just here, at the mouth. <laughs> when inside, inside us, we have never loved you at all. And I want to give you an advice as my children. Because Prita is 18 now. Let me tell you, if you want these boys to marry you, don't sleep around with them. I'm guiding you, you girls. You. If you want these boys to marry you, don't sleep around with them. Because for us, for us men, we always look for those we have not slept with. Yeah. You know it from me as a father. For us men, we always look for the girls we have not slept with for marriage. So you should always keep yourself out of men if you want to be married early. If you don't want to be married early, you expose yourself to men. They will not marry you. I'm giving you a life what? A life advice. You get my point? So those whom we lied to, I got saved, but I lied to people's girls. And I said, God forgive me. And I did not marry them. Now, I went for the one I had not seen. So I'm telling you through experience. You hear? Have you heard that? So, those... Now, I'm going to close. I want all of you to listen to the Bible now. So we are going to read... Uh, let me read for you. Proverbs... Chapter 3, verse 1 to, uh, to uh, let's read uh, 1 to 8. Who is going to read for us? Mugole, you read for us. But will she hear what she's reading? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Kale, you read for us. Mm. Proverbs chapter 3, mm. verse 1 to, seven to 8. Mm. My son, do not forget my teaching. Uh-uh, you give it to me. Your English. <laughs> Your English is too hard for me. <laughs> my, I'm talking to you as my children. So the Bible says my son, but now me I'm going to say my children because I'm talking to all of you. Listen carefully. That is Proverbs chapter 3, verse 1 to 8. My children, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart. For they will prolong your life many years and bring you prosperity. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor 
and a good name in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your life and your path straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Amen? Amen. Have you heard the words properly? Yes. These are the words of wisdom. Keep reading them every time and then. When you keep reading them, then the world will be sweet for you. Will it be sweet what? Amen. It will be sweet for you. You will build mansions, you will build greater things, you will be on higher hills than even where I am now. Because for you, you are, you are, for us we are analogs for you you are digitals so we expect the analogs to do better than we digitals eh? the, the digitals to do better than we the analogs because it was jamu tukatu yo mulembo mukadi mu bantu bali mulembo mukadi kati mu mulembo mupya twagala mukore bisinga ku bintu byetukoze ki byetukoze byemulabako all these things you are seeing are achievable i'm giving you a hint now these things you are seeing are achievable. There is no magic. But there are two things. One, God must be in them. Amen? Amen. God must be what? Be in them. God must be in the middle of them. God is the only person who gives blessings. There is no magic of doing things when blessings are not there. When there is no blessings, don't be lied that you have anything. Because when you read John, John, uh, John, uh, John 14, uh, John 15, 7, it says, without me, man can do nothing. Without him, man can do nothing. Because he says, I'm the vine and you are the branches. And without me, man can do nothing. So all of these are done when God is in the middle. Two, sleep less hours and work for more hours. Are you hearing me? Sleep what? Sleep less hours. If you want to achieve this you are seeing here, sleep less hours. Me even a Saturday, even if it is a Sunday, when the person wakes up and finds me in the compound, she will ask me that what has happened. That's what that's a question you should ask me. She said that what has happened? Because it is hard for them. I greet them when they are still in the bed. None of them goes, gets out of the house before me. All of them, none, even today, none of them wakes up before, before me. Me by six, I'm out of the house. Daily, even the Sunday, by six I'm waking up to go to church to praise God. And I stay there even up to four. I'm at church. I'm praising God. One, for the gift of life. Two, for giving me all that you are seeing. It's not my own making. It's not that I'm wiser than anybody. It's just God's blessings. Amen? Amen. So now I'm giving you those two things. That one, you know, the best is God. The bottom, the best line of it all is God. And you must acknowledge him, as the Bible has said. And then the optimum of it is that you must work for more hours and sleep less. Amen? Amen. Yes, because the Bachiga say, Wanyama Nazozira Korachi. Hey, that's what the Bachiga say, Wanyama Nazozira Nyama. You girls, where you are going to be married, I hate the dependency. I am paying school fees for you to become what you are going to be. Stop depending on men. I don't like this business of you girls depending where I'm getting married to depend on a man. We pay school fees for what? <laughs> Why do we pay for you? Then you get home, then we pay for boys and you, you sleep because you want to sleep. But if you recognize that the father pays school fees for you, 
this young man wants to buy actually when you read Genesis chapter 2 God created the helper to the man God created the what? He did not create a servant, he did not create a maid, he did not create whatever it is. He created a helper. And the helper means that where you cannot raise your hand, the other person helps you to raise the what? Yes. This business of you saying with Abagan, what you want to do? Me is on Conan Grant. Anybody. Mulika could ban a Dambari. Mulika, ban a Dakota. I hate that business of Saint Hitchcock. Banavan, don't be stupid. We sent each because there is no Saint Hitchcock. Every money is for the family. This is for the what? For the family. Yes. Every money. Don't misuse the monies. That you are getting all your husband brings. Ngoza, the oizizo knows misusing and goza za chikazi. Chikazi ani? Who is chikazi? There is nobody called chikazi. Mpulila. It is for your home. It is a mentality that they have planted in you. And they are destroying you. They are destroying your marriages. Because the man will be like a donk and he will, he will not feed you. I'm telling you as a dad today. That we men, we want to feed our women. Once again, I want to feel my woman bringing a million and says, this month, at least I got the one million, can you plan for it? Ah, that's a big challenge, man, a woman can give you. You sweat. We men, when a woman tells you that I have a million here, or I have 500,000 here, and I want us to plan for it, the woman meaning literally, she's saying, if I have put one, then you bring, you bring two. That's basically what the woman is telling you. That I brought one, bring how many? Two. Men you sweat. And such are women. Men always regard them highly. This business of you every time crying, my girls, I don't want to hear a girl crying you don't have money when I paid school fees. I have paid school fees for you to make money. You hear? Yes, I'm telling you, all of you, we pay school fees for you to make money and become rich, okay? Yeah. So this business of you going down and you start bending down and make your self flow, why did we pay fees? We don't want, we want you to have that self esteem, all right? You have studied, yeah. Nobody should under, underlook you. You have studied. And you have studied for the purpose, amen? Yeah. yeah, the reason why I'm telling you this is that I want you to pull whoever could want to go down. Pull in your friendship where you are. Make sure it is a friendship that never ceases. You pull your friend when your friend thinks or feels to go low. You understand? I want to thank Precious Muterele Munga. Muterele Munga, Jano Kanakani. There's one thing I want to thank for this girl. This girl here, I don't know. There's a girl who lost the, pa the father lost the job. And when the father lost the job, the girl is at the university. I even don't know the girl. Is she part of you? Yes. Oh. She will show her to me. Now, here, the girl comes to me, saying, you know, daddy, we want to pay school fees. Our, our, our friend, uh, the, the father lost the job. She must continue. You hear the word? She must. She's putting even the conditions. So, I want money. If you don't give me, me I will use my savings. I will contribute for her to get to finish the university. Are you seeing that kind of friendship? Can you clap for her? <laughs> Are you seeing that greatness in the friendship? What it means? Now, all of you, what can you fail to do? You can't fail to pay school fees. For any of you whom unfortunate can be fall on to. You understand? I want to see all of you graduating. I want to eat all of these graduations. I want to start wow, wow, all of them. I want to come and enjoy the graduations. Because you are my daughters, you are my children. And if I get a chance, I will speak. Because I've given you words of wisdom that are going to make you great girls and great men. Amen? Yes. You are not going to be the children that are going to be under locked. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. So now I'm going to pray for you. I'm happy for your coming. Thank you for coming. In big such a numbers. I'm a person who doesn't fancy birthdays. I've told them not even to make mine this time. 
but he, my wife and the, and the daughters are just down for the birthday. But what I have to do is to obey. As a father, you do what? And provide. By the way, you made our work is to do what? Yes. Provide security to these girls. If I hear any of these girls, I'm going to have the WhatsApp. If they report you, <laughs> me, I'm the one who is going to come to your dad. Myself, I will come to your daddy's home, and I will discipline you from there. Because I, I'm going, I want to assure you, I am going to have a, a group with you. That one, I want to assure you that I'm going to do it, and I want for all of you. And we see whoever doesn't have a job, we want a job, we want connections. Let's link. Eh? A link <laughs> because there are some people I have worked with, there are some people I need to. So, you know, we cannot all fail when we are together. When we are together, I want to assure you that we shall break the stone. Amen? Amen. So, now here I'm going to pray for you, my, my friend. My you come again and stay here for the night. I want us to chat more. <laughs> Now, uh, pretty, let me give you your present, and uh, and we say happy birthday, Mama is it? My daughter, happy birthday! Thank you for making 18 years, and I believe that the 18 years you are going to use them profitably, and they are going to be years to remember. That's why you have a, such a big birthday. Because you must always remember, you you may not have a, such a big birthday again. <laughs> yes, until probably you are married and your husband is uh, thanking you for something special. But the assurance is, but I don't want you to harass your man if he doesn't make such a birthday. <laughs> uh, I don't want you to get married and you harass. Uh, that is for another day, right? But what it is now is that we thank God for you. And we want you to use the 18 years that you have finished profitably to make sure that the upper years are good and simple for you. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Can you go and sit and we pray? So I'm going to pray now. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, for this special day. You tell us in Jeremiah 29, that you have plans for us and the plan is to prosper us not to harm us lord i thank you for this special day that you created in the lives of these children of mine lord they are under my hand and lord they are my children all of them i bless them in the name of jesus as abraham blessed the true his child i too i bless them in the name of jesus that we shall not cry over these children in the name of Jesus. That none of these children will meander in the name of Jesus. That their prosperity will be at their doorsteps in the name of Jesus. That these children shall not lack in the name of Jesus. That the blessings of Jacob, Abraham and Isaac will be upon them in the name of Jesus. As you say in Deuteronomy 28, that you will bless them as they go out and bless them as they come in and bless their fields, Lord. Lord, may you bless them as you said, as you said it in Deuteronomy 28. Bless them as they go, wherever they go. They bless it. them in their studies. They receive it. Bless the work of their hands that, Lord, whoever touches anything, Lord, it shall not fail in the name of Jesus. I bind the devil's tricks of stealing these children in the name of Jesus. I bind the devil's weakness that it brings into children to underlook themselves and call them and bend themselves low. That Lord, the self-esteem upon these children shall be high in the name of Jesus. They will always respect them. None of them will be a cheaper girl. None of them will be a cheaper boy. None of them will sleep around with men and with girls in the name of Jesus. Amen. That they are going to keep themselves holy, holy before you, Lord, for the blessings. Because you said those who are holy, I will bless them in the name of Jesus. Amen. I grant the peace upon them. Amen. I pray for their parents that wherever the parents are, Lord, who are not here, 
that Lord they will have happiness in these children that none of the parents will cry upon these children in the name of Jesus that Lord we shall have the graduations of all of them in the name of Jesus that Lord their graduation I'll be standing there to give a testimony that Lord I have seen them grow and I have prayed for them Lord to go all of them to graduate so Lord may none of these fail to graduate to the top Jesus Christ that she will serve you as her Lord and Savior that she will never run away from your corridor she will never run away from your face because you tell us that those who walk with you your face shall shine upon them may your face shine upon her may your face open the blessings upon her may her feet never slumber in the name of Jesus may her thinking always be a wisdom thinking that Lord she will have life and life in you in Jesus name I pray Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Welcome. May God bless you. Amen.